think it's a great opportunity to actually have apprentices in the team. You can impart a lot of the experience and knowledge that we have gained from the project so far. So I'm new to apprenticeships. My apprentice joined me four months ago. She's brought a whole breath of fresh air into the team. She's got new perspectives. She's questioning things we're doing. And it's really brilliant just to be able to, to step back and take some learning from her when we've been doing the day job. I think for a line manager, it's kind of taking it back to like the basics because obviously they have to teach someone something new that they've not learnt before and I think it's good to kind of take things back so you can kind of see if it's working or not. I think it's really about um, the future thinking more than anything. At the end of the day this railway is a long project, it's going to be finished in 10 years time and then other phases will follow on. You guys are going to be the end users of that railway in reality so bringing in your fresh ideas and your fresh perspectives that we're drawing on so many people to build this project. It's really important to understand what actually the younger generations coming into work are thinking about. What unique skill do you feel that an apprentice has given you and you still use? So you work with a lot of different stakeholders at HS2. So there's a, a different way of dif dealing with different stakeholders. So it was trying to understand what point of view they're coming from, but also trying to get them to understand a different perspective. And I use that quite a lot outside of work, getting out of tense situations, I'm quite good at now. Uh, time management for me, I think having to, to plan ahead of a meeting, get work done for that meeting, um, but also keep on top of college work, so there's a lot of it with the exam and uh, reflective statements, so having to manage my time has been a skill I've had to develop to get through this apprenticeship um, and I find I'm using it even in my personal life with planning, like something I'm doing on holiday or something and the techniques I use at work I then use at home. So. <laughs> So sell it to me in 10 seconds why they should pick an apprenticeship at HS2. An apprentice should apply for an apprenticeship at HS2 to, to join Europe's biggest infrastructure project, um, gain valuable skills, advance their career further and do something which hasn't been undertaken in the UK in over 100 years. Yeah, no, I definitely agree. I think it's important that people realise that there's apprenticeships in all sorts of areas, even areas that people might not necessarily have known about and the bonus I suppose is that you get paid while doing it and yeah you get to sort of do what you want and also get the qualifications in the meantime. Definitely apply, don't think that apprenticeship is just for someone that is just starting in, yeah. in, in their careers, Absolutely. it can help you reflect on what you want to do, yeah. it can get you into as I said rooms that you know you, ne you never maybe would have uh, been able to, uh, to go into yeah. um, and it's something that you know can ultimately um, have a positive impact on, on your career Indeed. and that of others as well. Exactly, Definitely. exactly. Thanks for watching. Join us soon for episode four, where we'll be talking about our proudest achievements. For more information, please visit hs2.org.uk forward slash careers to find out more about our apprenticeships.